Hi, Mission Support. This is Commander Martha from the High Seas Crew 3. I need some support on my gardening project up here on Mars. Alright, so we're doing all sorts of different types of gardening here at High Seas. Um, there's regular gardening in soil, and we've got, you can see, we've got some tomatoes and cilantro and stuff in soil. We have, this is aquaponics, so there's, uh, it's just water down here, and uh, there's a fish, I don't know if you can see them right now, and then some plants growing out of that. We have, yeah, wheatgrass, there's some basil that hasn't taken yet, some salad mix, some radish. Uh, and then we also have hydroponics, which are these guys here. So again, the roots are growing in water with a special mixture of nutrients. In this one, it's kind of like balanced, the fish and everything balances it all out. In this one, I had to add nutrients. Yes. We're doing um, a type of composting that's called bokashi, um, and it's anaerobic. The way anaerobic composting works is you put it in here with some special microbes, uh, and then it breaks everything down without air. And it's kind of like pickling it. It smells very sweet and pungent, kind of, when you open it up. Uh, then uh, it has to get buried in the ground for about a month. We don't really have the ground to bury it in here, so I um, buried it kind of using the lava rocks or the Martian rocks and soil from outside in a big bin and it's under the table and hopefully we'll get some nice soil out of that in about a month. So we're composting for a few reasons here. One is because it just reduces our waste. Um, you don't want to be generating a lot of waste in space. There's nowhere really to put it, I guess. And also like a lot of that waste, it's all sort of nutrients and things that we can recycle and use again um, to be growing our own food. Like this is the only fresh food that you have when you're gone for three years and everything has to be shelf stable for three years. The only way you're gonna get a salad is if you grow it yourself. Plants, you know, they evolved for, with sunlight. They want to be growing in sunlight and there's a whole wide spectrum there. The lights in your house don't really have quite the same intensity of light or the same spectrum of light. Um, that you can get from the sun. So the challenge with indoor gardening is how to get as much light to your plants as possible in the wavelengths that they like, but using the least amount of energy because we're really limited on the amount of energy we have here. Your projects on gardening will help me in many ways. One of the projects I think is a robotic watering system. So that'll help me like make sure that all of the plants are getting the right amounts of water all the time and I won't have to do it by hand every single day. So that'll be really cool. Hydroponics. Um, so one of the things that I'm doing with hydroponics is, again, like I want to be trying to reuse as much and be as self-sufficient in space as possible. With the hydroponics, you have to add um, nutrients into the water, and I'm actually using some of the nutrients from the composting in some of the hydroponics now to see if I can keep that going without needing to order any more equipment, because that reduces the amount of resupply that you would need in space. So yeah, I'm really interested to see what you guys can come up with hydroponics. What what sort of plants do you think will grow best? What lights they can grow under? All that sort of stuff. It'll all help me.